All right, what's up? Yo, what's up, Scatman? How's it going? I'll just get this camera right about there. Get it focused. Good. Let's not touch it. What's up, Blue? How's it going? What's up, Jason? How's it going? Don't start yet. Let me get baked. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long stream, so you have plenty of time. Um, so, yeah, today's design is going to go sideways like this. Now, it's kind of sad because it's going to cover a lot of those graphics I put, but I kind of I kind of went into this panel knowing that I was going to end up covering a lot of it. Um, Looks like a lot of it. A lot of it's gonna get covered. Maybe I should do it sideways. What if I did it sideways? Hmm. hmm. You know, because obviously there's a lot of work already in these graphics here, so I don't want to just like completely kill it. I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, I gotta decide do I wanna kill the spider webs or do I wanna kill these peaks and this right here? Like, cause there's no way around it. One side or the other is gonna have to get. Um, that's if I do it sideways though. If I do it like this, it'll be alright. Nah. I think my original idea was better. And yeah, it's just gonna end up covering it. Let's do it sideways. So yeah, it's gonna end up covering a lot, but it's alright. I kind of didn't know. I knew that a lot of it was going to be covered, but I didn't know like how much, and I just did all that, knowing that I was going to end up covering most of it, but it's alright, it's alright, it's for a good cause. What's up Derek, how's it going? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Look at these magnets, these ones are like glued together. So all I'm gonna do is magnet this uh, down, and then uh, we're gonna kind of. I'm gonna quickly give myself an outline with the uh, with the main stencil, right? And then uh, we'll go back and kind of tape some areas off, because some areas are gonna kind of be darker, and some areas are gonna be brighter. That's something we're gonna work on as we go. So. Uh, what's up, Michael? When you airbrush metal like that, what paint do you use for it? Okay, so we're using Createx. It says on the bottom of the screen there. What's up, Chris? How's it going? All right, let me get some paper here. We'll paper this up around the edges. here. I'm just going to tape off all the back right now. I did take some shots and video of this panel without the artwork on it. But honestly, I don't know. It was just a really cool panel with the graphics. But I feel like once we put the artwork on it, it's going to be more, more worth. Another panel for the rendezvous. Yes, sir. But do you use transparent? No. Oh, I mean, well, it depends. I guess what you're using. Um, lately, though, since they came out with the Wicked Opaques, I've been just using the Wicked Opaques. I've been saying that in every stream. What's up, Dennis? How's it going? What's up, Ronnie Leg? 
how long does it usually take to receive stencils? Um, so it just really depends, but it, lately the post op has been pretty, pretty quick. So it's usually about a week, not too long. Just depends on where you are and how good the post office in your area is. <laughs> That's really what all it is. But right now, everything that's been ordered has been shipped off. So if you ordered a stencil, it's in the mail somewhere on its way to you. All right, so all I'm going to do is lay this in right here real quick. magnet to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to take some white and mix up some white. Let's see, what are we going to use the white in? Hmm, decisions. Let's do this one. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't bring it in, did I? Oh, I need to go get my spray bottle with soap. I left it. I filled it and I left it inside. Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, what's up, Dennis? What's up, Olin White? How do you prevent paint peel upon removing the masking tape? I use easy release and it peeled on something I'm not done making yet. But I'm happy so far with the turnout. So usually, if your paint's peeling up, it's uh, either part of your prep or you're laying it on too thick. Um, usually, if you're laying it on too thick, that means it's kind of overlapping on the tape. And if you don't get enough time to dry, or if you don't pre-cut that edge where the tape is, um, it'll peel. So that's why I kind of always emphasize on building up the light coats and stuff. All right. Oh, it might also help if we have some air. Yeah.
Yeah, so always make sure you build it up. Um, so yeah, you, you don't want to build up heavy paint <coughs> around your tape edge. <coughs> Um, cause that could lead to just a lot of problems in general. Um, so you always build up light coats, let it dry, build up another light coat. Um, also building up too many light coats right away is also, a, you know, can be a problem. So even if you're building up light coats, but if it's not like warm where you're painting and you're not giving the paints time to dry between the coats, um, you could also run into problems there. So. Okay, finally got some paint in an airbrush. I'll shake it up. Let's do some painting. So all I'm gonna do is use some white and I'm gonna mark off my design. That way we kind of know um, where I need to lay in uh, some white and where I need to lay in black um, because not everything is gonna not everything needs a, a white backer. Some of it needs kind of a black backing. So, and for the same reason, so that we don't build up a bunch of film on there, right? So we're gonna use white backing for the areas that need a color, and then black backer for the areas that don't. Uh, yeah, you can use a hair dryer on like clothes and stuff, but using it on anything like else is. Uh, usually not recommended you don't see me use a hair dryer on like stuff like this too much um, unless it's cold in here which does happen in the winter but like right now it's nice in here I believe the, the, the thing over there says it's like 82 degrees inside the garage so it's really nice in here it's comfortable to work in the paint dries decently enough even with reducer in it, as long as I don't lay it very heavy, so. But, um, yeah, if you're doing it on shirts, you can use it, the blow dryer on shirts for sure, all, all day, any day of the week. Especially on, like, colored shirts, it works really good. On stuff like this, uh, you usually don't want to use a blow dryer, because, uh, you could build up, uh, you could dry up a top layer of paint, um, and you could seal in moisture accidentally so you, it's not usually recommended to use a blow dryer on this kind of stuff just just pro tips all right so we take that off now it's marked off in white you can see those little white markings everywhere and um, I'm pretty much just gonna go in with the white since I already have it loaded and I'm going to start kind of backing in all these areas. Um, the truck, right, it's obviously a, a mini truck with the bed up. Um, if you know what mini trucks are, you know, they have little, like the old school um, 80s, 90s, uh, Datsuns, Nissans, um, like Chevy Loves, like the, those kind of trucks. And I'm so sad because I really miss my Datsun 620 now that I, I sold it, like, not, what, five, six years ago now. And now I'm just like, man, they're really making a comeback. Um, but anyway, uh, it's it's like this is like a Nissan 720, I believe, um, and it has a dancing bed, and it's gonna be green, has the wheels, and everything. And I don't know how accurate my research is, but I believe this is the particular artist that this panel is going to. I believe this is his truck. So that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. So all I'm going to do is just freehand in, you know, the backing areas and I'm going to kind of start, um, going to kind of start detailing it in, but not too crazy, right? I'm just going to kind of build it in and then as we go, I'm going to start kind of layering in some tape and, you know, start building some more harder edges and stuff. But for now, but because we still need to add color and everything, um, all I'm going to do is kind of go in with a nice and easy, uh, white. Um, and the reason, again, is we want to cover all this flake. 
right? I don't want any of that flake to show through the, the artwork, right? That, that defeats the whole purpose. So the whole point of the white backer is to help um, cover that painting. So the opaque white, the new wicked opaque white is like supreme being when it comes to the coverage and the white backer. I, the, the wicked white, the old wicked white, honestly, it, it did... It did take a little more coating and a little more white uh, to really get the white to pop. But like even this, I, I reduced it a lot, and it's like pow, pow right away. <laughs> it, it really pops. It pops and it goes quick. Right, so yeah, this today's design will probably start off real quick, and then it's gonna kind of slow down as we get into the more detailed areas and stuff. So, just FYI. Alright, so I've been realizing something too, for those of you guys that, that have been keeping track of my hip and stuff, um, I have a really bad tendency of standing and putting all my pressure on that hip. Like I'll stand and then I'll like, Ugh! so I need to stop that, I think that might be an issue. And it's just something I do naturally that I don't even mean to do, which is weird. But, uh, yeah. I'm up to working out for an hour now before I start breaking the sweat. I have to really be pushing myself to break sweat. Which is crazy. What up, Justice? How's it going? You had an 86 Nissan Mini truck back in the day. Phantom top and all. Oof, bro. It's crazy. Have you seen how much they're going for nowadays? Like, especially if you had like an original one from back in the day. It's crazy monies. They're making a crazy comeback. I would totally, if I had a chance to own one, I would totally would. I. Somebody has one with a dancing bed, and even if it doesn't run, but as long as the like everything is there mechanically, yo, I'll trade you the Camaro. Just <laughs> straight up trade. The Camaro runs and drives and everything. It's all painted and nice. I just put brand new seats in it. I feel bad for the Camaro, but I really would. I, just, I need a truck for one, so having stuff a way to haul stuff around would be nice. You know, not nothing heavy or anything, obviously, but, yeah, but, um, yeah, and they're also making a cool comeback. One with the dancing bed and everything, I'd be down. That'd be a way to make a splash. Especially if it's a Datsun. Oh, bro, if you have a Datsun. That's really what I like. I miss my old Datsun, not gonna lie. I shouldn't have sold it, but... Boy was hungry. We needed money at the time. I was like, man.
what color are you going to finish the truck in? So the truck is green. Um, or, or, yeah, no, this truck is particularly green. Yep, Justice, this is Danny D's panel. <laughs> you know what, I didn't even say it, but go ahead, uh, message me your address and stuff, Justice. Let me know what, <laughs> what stencil you want. I'll send you a free stencil off the mic's brush. Just for knowing, man, just for knowing, I'll, I'll give it to you. What's up, Udo S? <laughs> I used to have to drive over speed bumps at an angle so it won't scrape. Yeah. Now, I I want one all hydraulic out. Like, I want the dancing bed, but I also want the truck to, you know. That's crazy, though. That's crazy low. Like, let me guess. You were in high school? <laughs> I do believe those sound like some high school shenanigans. Alright, so now I just want to make sure I get everything covered in with the white really good. Up, or actually, uh, oh yeah, no, I need to. I mean, I'm gonna mix up a color using that daylight green, uh, which we'll use to finish as a backer, and then I'll use uh, a little bit of candy, a little bit of pearl silver, and we'll mix up the actual color of the truck. Um, and we'll tape that off, and we'll, we'll get that all going. But um, I needed to get this uh, at least backed off so that you can't see the, the sparkles and so the green will just have that pop and then we'll lay the black backing in and then we'll re-imprint our stencil on here Yeehaw, nice. Yeah, congrats, man. Just giving them out like hotcakes around here. And you get a stencil. And you get a stencil. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, just trying to make sure I get it all. I have fun, it's awesome. Congrats, man. Okay, okay, Mike Winfrey. <laughs> Hola, Adrian. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes. Saludos. Muchos saludos. Gracias por estar aquí hoy con nosotros, Adrian. Que te la pases muy bien, muy, 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 muy bien, hermano. <laughs> Um, then I have to check the picture. I think the rear view mirror needs white too. Oh my god, 
uh, did I not send it to myself? I don't think I sent it to myself. Hold on. So actually, I think what I'm going to do, since we're here already, we have some white. Should I? No, actually I'm going to mix it in a different cup. So now I'm just going to take some uh, limelight green. It's good old limelight. Probably going to throw a little bit of uh, white. Do I need to put white? I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw the limelight green. And then we're going to throw a little bit of pearl silver. Then comes all the fun stuff. Yep, this is one for the round of eight, too. Yep, Tim. Always at it, bro. There's prizes dying. <laughs> What's up, Abiz? Abiz Mendez. Saludos. ¿Qué onda, hermano? ¿Cómo está? Welcome to the party. <laughs> Alrighty. Limelight green. Just a little bit. With a little bit of reducer. Just a tad. We want it to keep opacity, but we do want it to flow good. So just a little bit. I could probably zoom it in more and we'll see. I don't know, that's as far as it goes. This reminds me of Loretta After Magazine. Yep. I never ever actually ever sent anything in. But I always liked it when I seen them. I never actually had too many of them either. Like, I don't know. Boy was broke boy. No, you know, well, actually, that's not accurate either. We weren't even that broke or broke at all. It's just my parents' priorities is a little bit skewed. And but it happens, it happens.
reading the remarks can help yeah for sure good luck to you sir make sure you practice <coughs> got like an itch in my throat ah I literally feel like I have something stuck in my throat. You guys are gonna watch me choke to death on stream. <laughs> I joke, but halfway joke. You ain't got the COVIDs, do you? Good thing I'm vaccinated. I got vaccinated. Hopefully that means that means something. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I got the vaccination. That's what they told us to do. And like, I don't know, hopefully it makes me feel better. I know I'm vaccinated for everything else. Can you stick a magnet to your arm? <laughs> no. What the fuck? What is, what is that? What does that even mean? <laughs> like, am, am I made of metal or, or what? He, <laughs> what is this question? I feel like. I feel like that's a silly question, but I don't know. Are you being serious? <laughs> the chip they implanted in the back. Oh my god, that, that, all right. Never mind. <laughs> Forget I asked. Brush looks like a pro convoy. Yeah, this is the GSI Creos, the 289. 
the one I'm using for the greens here. I was just using the Air Cobra for the white, then I'm probably going to load black in the Eclipse. And then the Revolution has made it back up onto my workspace. <laughs> um, so I've been using the Revolution too. So one of the things I am looking forward to though when I'm going to coast and stuff is actually getting my hands on a Micron. So that will be a thing that will happen. And I hope you guys are ready for that. So all I'm gonna do is take some Pearl Silva here. Actually, I'm gonna start by laying in reducer first. Just a little bit of reducer. Um, we don't need a whole bunch of this pearl metallic green, so I'm just gonna lay a little bit of Pearl Silva. Pearlized silver, just a little bit. Boom. Take some emerald green right here. Make sure I shake it up before I put it in. <laughs> that is funny though. Like that was, it was a good laugh. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little bit of emerald green in there, just a tad bit. And then a little bit of lemon yellow. Just because I like to get wild. A little bit of buck wildness. Right, a little bit of that. Boom. A little bit of Monica in your life. And then I'm going to take a little bit of matte UVLS. Just a tap right right there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to whip up this concoction. And we're going to make sure to shake it up really good. My wife told me I can't take the debit card because I'll spend all of our trip money. Oh, where, 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 where's your trip? Is your trip? You know you're going to try it after the live feed, though. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> it just sounds so ridiculous. Uh, Mike, you make every day of pictures. Yeah, so this week... Um, probably for the rest of the week. I have panels um, So I have this panel today and we're gonna stay here till it's it's pretty much done I might come in the morning and do little details, whatever um, But then tomorrow I'll have another panel and the day after that I'll have another panel and that, that I have those three for sure planned and then I'm gonna go look again at the roster of artists and stuff um, because yeah I know the featured artists, they, they've added some from when I started, so now there's like a couple more people that I, but I don't know them that well, so it's that whole thing where I, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm just not sure about that, but we're going to, we're going to try, we're going to try. What's up, Gerald? How's it going? Hola, Gerald, ¿cómo estás? Saludos. O como hablamos aquí, uh, hola, Gerald, al stream de la aerografía que estamos pintando una mini truck, lo mejor que se puede, sobre un panel que tiene los aerographics. Uh, I'm in Rhino and Scott's class. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'll be taking the Luminor class, so make sure you go and you introduce yourself and stuff. So, all I did is mix up a metallic green, right? So, let me show you guys here. That's like the shade of the green right there. But it's nice and metallic-y. Um, so, we're going to lay that in, and then we're going to let it dry while we do our blacks. Um, and then we're going to come back and lay some highlights and shadows over that nice metallic. <laughs> Saludos, Gerald. ¿Cómo está? So all I'm going to do is just kind of lay this in over that whole green right there. Just nice and even. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, like I was saying, I need to go back over the, um, the roster and see what other artists have been added. Because I know they added a couple more guest artists. But I don't know them all that well. And I don't know if I'm going to have time. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do something as... Uh, 
you know, because I did research. Like, I did research for Gerald. I did research for for Scott. I did research for Rhino, like, for for um, Jesse, for, you know, for Steve. You know, obviously, Steve, I've been following for a while, you know, so I didn't have to do too much, and I kind of already had the idea in my head. But, like, some of those other guys, I didn't really know all that much. Like, like, like I know Gerald, right? He's a really good artist. He's an amazing artist. But I don't know. I didn't know he worked at Disneyland. Like, I didn't know that. You know, I didn't know until I started, like, doing research. And then I was like, oh, wow, like, that's that's actually amazing. You know, so, yeah. So, I might do something kind of quick and simple, maybe some fire with some skulls. Uh, is this panel for another artist at the rendezvous? Yeah, so this panel is for uh, Danny D. Este panel es para Danny D, que le gustan las trojitas minis con los, con los, uh, las, las camas, pues, que se, que bailan. The dancing beds, you know? Uh, what's up, Stone? Stone's Airbrush, Alberta, Canada. How's it going, man? Welcome, welcome. Hermano, salve Brasil. Oh, saludos, hermano. No, no sé cómo, no sé qué dice eso. Giving it a nice couple even coats, nothing too crazy. Like I said, we are going to come back and kind of shade over this, but I do want it to stand out and have that metallic. Another killer job. It's getting there. It's getting there. Um, right now, we're just kind of doing this green. We're making sure the green pops in, and then we're going to start cutting in with the black. That's really going to start setting it in place, and then the very last thing is going to be the chrome, right? So we're going to have to come back in and really focus in on the chrome, all the wheels, and everything like that. But with the black, we're going to get it all in there, do a little bit of gray, you know, get the tires, the hydraulics in there, all that. You did great on the Disney art panel. Ooh, should I show it to you, or do I make you wait? Do I make you wait to the rendezvous? I don't think you've seen it finished. Now that it's finished, I added some more, a little bit more details. Details! <laughs> yeah, it came out gorgeous. It did. I'm really, I'm, all these panels, I'm really proud of them so far. Um, so, yeah, I just hope everybody likes them. I hope everybody gets a kick out of them, a little laugh or whatever, or, you know. And hopefully it makes some friends, you know, from it. Cause, yeah, like I don't go to California every day, so when I go, I must, I must for sure make it known that I have been there. <laughs> leave, I gotta leave something behind, you know. <laughs> All right, I think that's. Pretty good on the green. Oh, and there's a spider right there. <laughs> they are an extension of you and your work. Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of having fun. I, it's rare that I get to have fun. So now that you know, I'm gonna have the opportunity to really be selective in my work and not have to take every single job. I'll be able to just be more. Like, I want that, I'll be able to do, like, pick that job. I like that job. I like your idea. Let's go with it, you know. And I, if somebody comes in with, you know, like, oh, it's a random, like, I just want my bike red. I'll be able to be like, nah, you know, I'm just, I'm not the guy that does that. <laughs> and it just feels good that I, I have that option. I don't have to rely on it so much. You've seen some images and it looks awesome. You're still kind of spending your time and do so much work. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to have fun. Um, and uh, so a lot of, like, I don't know, Joe, uh, a lot of the, a lot of these panels, I know my viewers over on YouTube, they get a really good kick out of watching them. And they've been, 
racking up the views. So I get my I get my my like um, my use out of it, right? By painting. Not only am I am I practicing because I'm practicing up to leading up to the rendezvous to make sure that I'm you know I'm bringing my A game when I get there. You know, <laughs> I gotta bring the best. You know, so I'm I'm practicing all the way leading up to that, and then uh, you know using it for the live streams, and then hopefully you know they they like it and I make a friend. So all of it combined, you know, it's it's worth just a little bit of time, um, and yeah, like, it's just worth the time to me. I've been having a lot of fun, so that's all that matters. Just making sure that the green is covered there, and I just need to just need to do a little bit more around these edges. Yeah, I've been having fun with these, and I, like I said, I just hope everybody likes them, they get a kick out of it. And then everybody will have something to take home, you know? <laughs> Not just the students, but the some of the teachers will have something to take home, and the guest artists, you know? <laughs> you wish you lived in California. At Coast Airbrush every day, every payday. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd be broke if I lived near Coast Airbrush for sure. Well, I, I actually, I don't know. That's a double-edged sword. Yeah, yeah, I'd go in there and spend money every weekend. But for sure, uh, if I lived in California, I'd probably be living a different lifestyle than I do now. <laughs> They'll love them, dude. It's really cool of you. Yeah, yeah. You are not kidding. Me too. <laughs> exactly. Are you going to take a class or just hang out and have a good time? I am taking the Luminor class. So I, I'm i really interested in that light up paint. I'm. It's like, it's been eating at my head ever since I seen it. I seen that bike. Uh, there's a bike out there that has like a dragon on it. Um, and it has like scales and stuff, but the whole tank lights up and it, like they did it with like candies and stuff So you can see the light through it. Oh, man ever since I've seen that bike I just been dreaming of this paint and I just I can't wait to be doing my own panel Like right here on stream for you guys using the Luminor um, So that's that's the class that I'm taking and like you can see me. I'm, I just get excited just talking about it It's like oh, I'm so excited about the Luminor class like yeah, so I I probably won't get to hang out and talk as much as I would want to, Gerald. But I'll be learning, so it's 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 good as long as I'm learning something. And then being around you guys in general, just I'm sure I'll pick up on some some things. You know. I also got to make sure I bring something back, and that's the knowledge. When I when I come back, I not only want to bring back all that you know memories and experience and all that, but at the same time come back and be like, ooh, I learned this and I learned that, and look at the, what I could do now, and look at this. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm all right, so now I'm just gonna kind of put this back in place real quick. Gonna tack it down. It's absolutely awesome. Have you tried it? Have you used it? I, I don't know if I've ever seen you do anything with it. I'm excited. I, I feel like... I feel like I've, I want to do some panels and stuff, but ultimately, like, having, like, a Tron car or a Tron bike. You know that movie Tron or the game Tron? Ah, oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a simple man. I see stuff light up and I get excited. <laughs> I see lights and I'm like, it's party time. <laughs> uh, can I thank Gerald Mills for great, his great Facebook? Yeah, of course, bro. Go like He's over on Facebook if you want to chat with him or you can see it. The chats come right up on the screen so he could probably see it. All right, so all I'm going to do is mix up some black. gonna use the revolution for the black just rinse this out you did some demos in SEMA for Luminar oh, I have to look those up 
I, I, don't, I don't do a very good job of keeping up with everybody and what everybody's doing. That's another thing I've never done. I've never been to SEMA. I need to go to SEMA. I need to make plans for that. So like, yeah, I'm super excited to just have some extra free time, free money, like, you know, extra money to like have to do things. I'm super excited. I need, I need to go take a Drew Blair class for sure. I seen the. I don't know if you guys have seen the spray gunner video that they did of his uh, studio workshop and stuff. I need to go take that. That would that would also be dream come true. Like so. Gerald is awesome airbrush shots. Yeah, oh, Gerald is... He's uh, for sure been one of my inspirations since I started. Ever since I ever picked up an airbrush action magazine, I remember seeing Gerald Mendez. And uh, yeah, like after reading and, and finding out about him and stuff. And uh, yeah, like he's been around for a while, a long time. And he was Latino like me and stuff. I was like, oh, that's awesome. You know, because every other airbrush artist I had seen to that point was, you know, they, they were white. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it was awesome just to see. Like, this is a, the other reason I loved Jaime so much. I'm, you know, I'm sad I never got to meet Jaime. But uh, he was a great inspiration to me as well. Because, you know, having those names, Jaime Rodriguez, Gerald Mendez. You know, it's like, oh. So yeah, it did. It did uh, make me believe in myself a little bit. Get to make me cry. <laughs> You're doing a Drew Bears Zoom class this Saturday and Sunday on Zoom. Nice, nice. No, I want to take the in-person class um, for sure. Like I, I, I love online learning and everything, but I want him to be able to see what I'm doing and you know be able to be like. Ah, smack my hand or whatever if I'm doing it wrong be like stop doing that you know, same with like Gerald you know that's the whole if I'm meeting them and I'm doing something I want them to be able to just be like stop stop, stop. don't do that alright so all I'm going to do is take some black and then I'm just going to hit in the, the stencil lines again remarking it over the green And then we're gonna start kind of building this in. And I'm just doing this really lightly, really quickly. Nothing too, too crazy right here. Quick little pass. Do you have a separate camera with different comments? Very interesting. Yeah, so uh, my stream, Gerald, is uh, live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So it says right now there's like 45 people watching total um, across um, both of them. I don't know how accurate that is or not, but that's, uh, that seems like a little more than usual. But yeah, I do the, the Facebook and the YouTube at the same time. Um, so yeah. Um, the, the only problem is that uh, Facebook doesn't do the relay. So over if you watch on YouTube, you get the relay of the Facebook messages. Like everybody on YouTube can see what you're saying. Um, but Facebook doesn't relay the messages from YouTube to Facebook. So on Facebook, you only get to see um, what's on the screen. That's why I have them up on the screen how you do it so there's a, a website called restream it's called restream.io and uh, you just go on there you sign up and uh, I think you could do two websites for free or something like that but I pay a $20 fee uh, because I, I uh, want to stream to my Facebook page because uh, I think we're friends on Facebook but I don't know if you follow me or not but um I use my Facebook page for a lot of personal stuff, so I share a lot about my daughter and stuff like that on on my actual Facebook, and then I use my business page 
for my artwork. Um, so that's kind of how I have it set up and that's how I like to do it. Um, it just makes it easier to keep up with family for me. <laughs> Because if I if I have every like all my artist friends and customers and everybody on my Facebook it just everything it just gets lost. So a long time ago I I I, I did a Facebook purge like maybe like ten years ago now, like right after I moved back to Colorado, and I got rid of all the customers and people that I didn't really know off my off of my Facebook and then I opened up the Facebook page so. Craig Fraser was your inspiration when you started airbrushing in 1989. Um, yeah, Craig Fraser was sure, for sure, the magazines, um, and uh, like for sure he does amazing art. I'm not trying to take anything away from him, but I just I like never felt like I could uh, relate to him too much. Just, I think that that's what I was saying about Jaime and um, Gerald is that having that uh, you know that Nate Latino background and stuff. It just made me feel like I could relate to them, so it was kind of like an inspiration to me, anyway. I'm saying. But yeah, Craig Fraser is amazing. He does amazing artwork. He's for sure been around for a long time. Well, I'm checking on Facebook now, so I'll check on Instagram, and of course I follow you. Yeah, 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 make sure. Thank you. Thank you, Gerald. Do you hand cut these stencils, or do you do it on your machine? So these particular stencils are laser cut. Um, yeah. The design, I hand draw the design, the original design of the truck. Um, I did find a picture of this particular truck, and then kind of went off of that picture to draw up the design I scan that into Photoshop and then off of there I do my my uh, you know I make the file for the stencil there all in Photoshop so let's see here Can I just try to... there we go Yeah, everybody, everybody right now, if you're watching and you don't follow Gerald, make sure you go and you follow Gerald Mendes. Um, I believe it's Gerald Mendes Art Studio um, is uh, how you can find him. And uh, make sure you go and you follow him and watch his lives, watch his videos. It's been one of my inspirations and just having him in the chat right now is, is kind of surreal, to be honest with you. I, <laughs> um... Oh no, Gerald talking about Jaime in my chat is... Oh my god. What's up, Carlitos? What's up, Matt? Oh yeah, what's up, Vanek? I answered your question. Jaime Rodriguez is an amazing artist. His artwork was awesome, but his shirt lettering was super fast and great. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's all I could say is yeah. Uh, he was for sure... I always wanted to... Like, I wished... I could paint like him. He was a super inspiration. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty much all I can say is, yeah. I wish, I just wish I could have met the guy and, uh, kind of maybe take, again, took in some in person classes and stuff from him. And I, I really miss watching his videos and, yeah. Like his videos were just super, super infor informative. Oh man, it just, it just makes me, it's crazy to think about. Thank you for real. I remember when we only had Airbrush Magazine, Terry Hill and his t-shirts, I finally got to meet him as well as Javier Soto. Yep, yep. Preparing something very special for the rendezvous. Ooh, that's amazing. Can't wait. I can't wait.
I'm just I'm I'm just super excited for the rendezvous. I'm super excited that I finally have a chance to go to one. Cause all my life I've never had the chance to actually go to one. Right? Like I don't know. wild it's wild right now <laughs> yeah it's it's wild right now i can't even i'm just ah i can't even believe my wife just looks at me like i'm silly like why are you so excited to meet these people ah. it's like, oh, you don't understand <laughs> What's up, Manuel? You got your stencils? Nice, man. Glad to hear. I actually had to send somebody else out stencils today because they said they hadn't got it. And, uh, yeah. So I'm happy to hear when people get them because a lot of times people don't say anything. They don't tell me if they got it. They don't tell me if they don't got it. They don't tell me if they liked them. They don't tell me. And I don't hear anything ever. <laughs> so if you could tag me if you ever use them or anything, I'd appreciate it. I'd just like to know that they're actually going out there and being used, it would be awesome. Just think, Mike, there are a lot of us super excited to meet you as well. Are you going to be at the rendezvous, Christopher? I miss watching Gerald live feed. I miss out on his class when he was here in Canada. Yeah, I... Man, that's... If I could take a Gerald class, that's also a thing, like... He does a lot of classes where it's just so far from me. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly, Gerald. I, I had to learn by myself from a book, right? I learned from books and from watching the magazine. And I think the, the hardest part is not having somebody to tell you if you're doing it right or wrong. You just, you just kind of... You just kind of try it and you think you're doing it right and you hope you're doing it right and that's kind of where you go. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just wild to think how far airbrushing is. Right now is like a great time to start airbrushing because there's no excuse right now. You could do whatever you want and you can learn. There's classes like offered everywhere. So many resources. There's lots of great paint selection. Ah, just so much easier nowadays. And that's also the reason I want to get to the rendezvous. Is like, I need to make sure I meet a lot of these guys too before before um, I don't have a chance to meet anybody. Like I had, I didn't get to meet Jaime. I didn't get to meet Michael Valley now. You know, I've been kind of isolated up here in this mountain area for a while <laughs> up here in Colorado I've been up here for a while so <laughs> what's up Harard how's it going you're taking the Scott McKee oh yeah yeah exactly duh it's oh I'm so dumb sorry wait I thought that was I thought that was Tim Kirby. You and Tim Kirby are going to be in the Scott McKay class together. So that'll be cool. These classes are always so far from my city. Yeah, exactly. Dude. Dennis, I'm driving. We're literally driving 16 hours to go to this class, okay? But, like, if I want to learn how to use the Luminor paint properly, I don't see no other choice. It's kind of like a doctor, right? And when you go into doctor school, like or like med school or whatever, and you want to go to a specific med school because you want to learn a specific type of medicine, like, and there's only one school that offers it, so you're gonna have to go there. Like, the, the same exact thing right now with having to learn 
this Luminar stuff. It's like, I, if I want to learn properly, I'm going to have to go and take the class. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, you know? I might as well get over it and just go take the class and, and have a good time. And yeah, like there's nothing I could do. Flying in from Texas. I'm trying to go back to my live feeds, but it's always an important project on the way. Yeah, exactly. It's hard, it's hard. People think it's so easy to just run the YouTube. Just just keep making videos every day. Go live every day. It's like, I also have to have a life. Like, <laughs> Violet has to do school. Like, I have to make sure she goes in and out of school every day. Finish the school. Like, you know, Jess goes to work. I have to make sure I clean up the house a little bit, do some dishes or something. You know, I'm home. Get, gotta get stuff, like, stuff has to get done. But now, now that, you know, the YouTube is actually doing pretty good, which is the main reason I'm able to just slow down my work and, and be more choosy, I guess, of what I want to do. But definitely, I'm going to be streaming as much as I can, going to be making videos and editing, spending a lot of time editing, which is not something I have done in the past. Usually, you know, it's like, it's, if it's okay enough, it's okay enough because you know, it was that whole thing where, like, nobody's paying me to edit these videos. But now it's like, ah, oh, well, you know, people are watching. <laughs> There's a lot of people watching, so I may, might want to make them a little, look a little nicer there. And you guys are actually, like, you know, you guys are pulling your weight around here. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I just feel kind of more more free to have fun with the YouTube channel and do some videos and do the artwork that I want. That's also something you guys have shown is that if I just paint what I want to paint instead of trying to like, I don't know, trying to pizzazz the videos too much, I mean, you guys enjoy it too much more than, than a crazy video, you know, where I try shenanigans or antics or anything like that. Posted a small clip of your project on the group Facebook. Cool, man. We'll check it out later. I uh, did live feeds for two years every Tuesday, but it was hard to keep up when it got too busy. Yeah, exactly. The one thing, like, yeah, it just, it does. It just, it gets hard. And that's just one day a week, you know. Hopefully, hopefully I get busy with bikes like that when I get back. You know, hopefully we get a lot of work in. But yeah, I want to keep a more, more weekly schedule with the live streams. Uh, maybe push out some, some different kind of art, just some stuff I want to see. Some loom lore stuff, obviously.
<clears throat> All right, Tim, we'll see you later. This soil don't suck itself out the ground. <laughs> uh, not an in Instagram. It's on, on YouTube and Facebook. So if you go, you type in Mike's Brush on YouTube, that's where you'll see all those other comments. And then we're live on Facebook where you're watching. Um, where's my phone? I mean, I could go live on Instagram too. That'd be funny. I could use my phone to go live on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a Mike's Brush Gerald Mendes collaboration in the future oh man that, that'd be like a dream come true that'd be amazing yeah right the Gerald probably has better stuff to do with his time Him and Steve are already talking about tequila at the rendezvous and stuff. And yeah, I don't know how much collaboration there's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to be watching a Steve and Gerald collaboration, I tell you what. They're going to be collaborating on finishing the bottle. <laughs> It's gonna be rough, bro. I hope nobody asks me to drink because I don't drink. And I hate to be that guy that's like, oh, I don't drink, you know, I'm good. Especially for that once in a lifetime I'm gonna meet people. People are really gonna be like, oh, what a lame ass. He won't even take one shot. But that's how it starts. It starts with one shot and then pretty soon you know you're just singing away and <laughs> yeah, that w oh, I mean, that would be awesome, Gerald, if you want to do a collaboration sometime. Um, yeah, it would be awesome, actually, since you're already here in the chat, it would be awesome if we could do, like, an interview you for the YouTube channel. En español, una entrevista para el canal de YouTube. Sería muy bueno para los, uh, mis... Como se dice viewers en español. Para los que me ven en español, pues, um, yo sé que, pues, a mí, you know, eso fue una gran cosa cuando lo vi cuando yo estaba joven. So, para muchos jóvenes que están joven, latinos que hablan español. Um, no solo verlo a usted, pero verlo a los dos juntos hablando español sobre la hidrografía y cómo se puede hacer, um, a lo mejor puede ser una cosa muy, muy grande. But también una col a, a collaboration with some art. That, that, oof. that would just be a dream come true. Dos hermanos airbrush episode. <laughs> uh, it would be great to see Mike and Gerald live. Thank you guys. Airbrush Telemundo, eh? <laughs> Tele airbrush. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos al Tele airbrush. Aquí vamos a hacer la grografía todos los días. <laughs> Todo el arte latino. Much, mu, muchísimas gracias, Gerald. Ahí hablamos cuando estamos en, en la rendezvous. A ver cómo le hacemos. Uh, Steve también dijo que va a hacer una entrevista. So. Ahí a ver si nos acoplamos los tres. y Va a ser una entrevista rápida. No, o sea, no, no le quiero quitar mucho de su tiempo. Um, pero unas cinco o seis preguntitas. Yeah, the lo maximo. <laughs> you do that too well. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, you guys can look forward to an interview with Gerald in Spanish. Um, and we'll put that here up on YouTube. 
And if you don't know Spanish, YouTube now does automatic subtitles on my videos. And all you have to do is switch the subtitle to English, and boom. And boom. Problem solved. Yeah, I've seen uh, Ryan's work for sure. Yeah, but I I know Ryan's busy, man. He's like he's 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 like I was with the shirts, but that's where he is with motorcycles, like where he's actually painting to make a living, you know. So I kind of understand him. He doesn't have that much time to spend on editing and stuff. So I can understand why the videos are coming so slow from him. Cause he rather paint and make money than than make a video and not make no money. Um, so yeah, but definitely I've been watching his videos, his his reveal videos, like the the one he's doing of that girl and stuff. It looks really good. He's I've I've mentioned Bloodshot Airbrushing lots of times. If you don't, if you're not subscribed to Bloodshot Airbrushing, you're missing out. He's, he's also the reason I'm on this Luminor, I must have it, uh, quest, you know, because I see him and I'm just like, that looks amazing, I must try it, you know, really. it must be in my hands. We don't need no subtitles, airbrushing is the universal language. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to get in trouble with watching while I'm driving. All right, Blue, have safe, drive safe, and we'll see you later, Blue. Thanks for, for ah, thanks for watching. Oh my God, I'm losing words. <laughs> um, I'm new, still researching and learning about all these amazing artists. Yeah, there's a lot of amazing artists out there. Uh, don't miss the upcoming issue of the Airbrush magazine. It's dedicated to the Latin Airbrush community. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, for sure. I'll have to check it out. What's up, Nomless? What's up, Nomless subscriber? How's it going? How do I get that magazine, Gerald? Oh man. Got to go and pick up the granddaughter now. Have an awesome day, everyone. Right on, David. We'll see you later, man. Got to speak to Don Johnson. I can't wait to see that issue. Cool. Would love to get my copy signed by you. Oh, yep. Pretty much all kind of blacked in from here that way. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit that in some black.
all that black in there. Hey, what's up, Gerald? <laughs> He's watching on YouTube now. <laughs> That's awesome. Gerald Mendes Art Studio. Everybody, right now, if you're watching, make sure you go and you subscribe over to Gerald's channel as well. Um, he's right there in the chat. You know how to spell it. You know how to find it. Let's go get, go blow up his channel right now. Good night, Udo. Have a good night, man. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for found it online right now. <laughs> Chopping away at this today. It's not. <laughs> thought it was gonna take me a little longer, but once we get this black in, I'll mix up a little bit of gray. We'll start laying some gray in over the black. Start building up the shape of the tires, the tread, some of the hydraulics back here. You know, some of the interior using the gray. And then we'll leave that gray loaded up. We'll start widening in the chrome. Maybe do a little bit of blue and, and uh, orange tones before I start doing some white. But get that all in there as well. Nice work, Joe. Can't believe it. exactly like. Kind of sad that Airbrush Action Magazine went away because it did bring a light to a lot of uh, great artists. Yeah, and Gerald does amazing work. Ever since I've, I've ever found out about him, it's been amazing. I've never ever once seen him do something that I'm like, I don't know about that. Nah, every single time. Just like something stuck on the nozzle real quick. Let me rinse. Your IGTV he has a lot more fun and interesting stuff. I never got into the Instagram videos too much. Do they do good on Instagram too? And it's ordered. What did you order? 
What did I suggest? I don't even remember. <laughs> Alright, just remixing up some black. I probably should have reseated that nigga real quick. No, I think I did. I don't remember. There you go. Now I did for sure. Put the cap back on the back end. Put some reducer in here. Alrighty. All good to go again. Oh, the magazine. Oh, okay, yeah. Airburst World is a small, tight-knit community. I'd prefer it that way. That it makes it easier to show who's really passionate about the artwork and who is it. Airbrush World. How much is the magazine, Dennis? Fill us in, bro. Fill us in on the details. You can't just, you can't just bring it up and then not, not, not tell us what it is. How much is it? What is it? How, how, how do I get there? What is the website? Give us the details. Just go to Gerald Mendes Art Studio and IGTV is awesome. I all right. I guess I've never even tried IGTV. I just have Instagram, the regular Instagram. It's deliterate. Yeah, that's me exactly. Like I, I, I know how to post stuff on Instagram, but I'm finding stuff on Instagram. It's hard. I know how to search for names. I didn't even realize Instagram had like a videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody go go Gerald Mendez Art Studio on Instagram. Go search his videos. Go blow up his Instagram now. Go do it. Do it now. Airbrushthemagazine.com. Okay. Okay. Twelve ninety five for US delivery per per issue? Is there like a subscription? It's about twelve bucks. Twelve bucks a month, huh? It's like another Netflix. That's not bad. Sub fifty dollars fifty dollars a year is way better than six than twelve bucks a month. Just let you know right now. If you if you buy it per issue, you're doing yourself a disfavor. Just go ahead and sign up for that fifty dollars a year, bro. That shoo! I'm gonna do that right after this. Gerald Mendes Art Studio to answer, put at before the name. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I, I'm, I'm still, right now, on the inside, I'm like shaking. Like, Gerald Mendes is in my chat, bro. 
<laughs> never ever in my life I'd be like, ah, Gerald Mendes is going to come in my chat just casually start having conversations. Yeah, I seen it uh, earlier. I've been trying not to uh, say too much on her lives. <laughs> I don't think she likes me very much, just to be honest with you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she did not like the whole onion thing. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. She's an amazing artist though and I still watch her and keep an eye on her stuff for sure. What's not to like? Exactly, bro. Exactly. I'm such, I'm such full of joy and charm, you know. <laughs> I just. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be fun meeting her. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be really fun. using this black right to kind of lay the outline of the chrome um, but that's just so that when we lay the white the white will have a kind of more of a, a pop to it because there's there's already kind of like a little bit of a black there so it'll just have an extra little standout <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'm already making friends, bro. I'm already making lots of friends. So yeah, if I watch her, I just try to keep my mouth shut. I don't, I don't even say hi anymore. I just, oh, I'm just watching. I'm, I'm fine. Try not to rub her the way she's like. She seems like she could get feisty. Ah, <laughs> uh, you sure you missed it earlier? But who is this panel going to be? For? This panel is for Danny D. So Danny D um, is a painter. He does like automotive graphics and stuff. But the reason we're doing a mini truck for him with the the lowrider bed and like the dancing bed and stuff is because he's really into it. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is his truck. <laughs> I don't know if I did my research correctly or not, but I believe this or he owns a truck that is this exact model and stuff with these wheels and everything. So I don't know. I don't know how right or wrong I am about that, but hopefully I'm more right than wrong. So. 
Come on, bro. We are Latinos. We know how to charm the woman. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm married, so that's not that's like not even my goal. Like, not. I'm not trying to charm nobody, bro. It's like either you like me or you don't. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. We don't have to be friends, like I said. It's okay. I don't have to get along with everybody. Some people are just not gonna like me. It's fine. It's fine, bro. I'm, I'm not losing sleep over it or nothing like that. It's, 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 it's okay. It will be okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to mix up some black. Some black, really? Some gray. So I'm going to rinse this one out. You know how we do the grays? What's up, babe? Is it hot? Leave that door open. Open the garage door. Let it air out a little bit. It's really nice outside. Oh no, I thought you were home. What? Oh, I didn't even answer. Oh, I didn't. I don't know who they were either. Huh? No, I wasn't expecting nobody, so I don't know. They also didn't call or anything, so. I have my phone right on me. I thought you were home though, so I didn't, I just didn't even. Watch, I'm gonna look at the camera and it's gonna be somebody I know or something. <laughs> a little lady? I didn't. <laughs> Let me see. Danny D is a lowrider archon and is very respected in the lowrider art community. Yeah, exactly. He is. He's been around for a, while, a long time. Let me see here. No, I don't know who that is. Nobody called or anything, so I don't know. <sighs> he well respected in the yeah yeah yeah. Danny D has been around for a while. He's he's yeah. You didn't open the garage door. That one. Oh, that one. Yeah. Let's see if how much it messes. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. Cool, so let's mix up some gray. She got me all sidetracked. And then we'll start layering in this gray, start building up kind of the chrome areas. Then we might lay a little bit of blue, that daylight blue, and then a little bit of orange. What is that? Pyro orange, I believe it's called. I'm just going to mix up a little bit of gray, just put some white. We're just going to put a drop of black in here. A smidge, just a smidge of black onto the white. And it gives you a really nice gray. We we'll throw some reducer to help it flow. gonna start flying away maybe I shouldn't have opened it hold on let me close it I did not realize it was windy there you go okay now let's shake this up give us a nice gray There's no turning down that Latin charm, at least until you run into a Latina with that Latin fire. Oh, <laughs> snap. <laughs> uh, Mike, Publishers Clearinghouse said they gave up when you wouldn't answer the door. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Carlitos. 
after all the airbrush knowledge, let me show you how to act. Alright, so we got a nice, like a nice medium grade, it's right in between right there, you see that? Uh, I'm going to turn down the pressure now. start using this gray right over these uh, chrome bits. So starting back here, right? And it's almost going to look like white almost, but it's gray, I promise. When I lay white over it, you're going to be like, wow, that really was gray. It just looks really bright because I'm laying it in over the black edging that we did there and the green. What size are your panels? 18 by 24. So the, this one is 12 by 18. Uh, the one for you is 12. There are some that are 12 by 24, but they're all 12 by 18. So like this, see this truck is almost like two of my hands, like one hand, two hands. And I have small hands. Hold on, let me get a ruler. Ugh. show you in inches so this truck is about 13 inches wide from the from that tip to this tip is 13 inches on the truck following and ordered that was hard to navigate while texting and having this on a corner small screen oh my gosh bro stop driving and, and texting what are you doing what are you doing with your life mate You know what they say about small hands. <laughs> they make great airbrush artists. Uh, good save, bro. Good save. I, I dig it. I just, I just need a little bit, a little bit more reduction here. It's not enough. I need more. Oh my god, much better. I could breathe. Mm, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, then we got that gray. Okay. Right on, Gerald. Thank you for stopping in. Muchas, muchísimas gracias. Ahí nos vemos en el rendezvous. And I can't wait to see what kind of cool projects you got, man. Your projects are awesome all the time. So I can't wait to meet you, brother.
O como dicen por ahí. Ahí nos vemos, pues, copa, en el rendezvous. Ahí nos vemos con un tequelita. A ver qué pasa, ¿no? A ver. <risa> Muchísimas gracias, Gerald. Ahí nos vemos. for Mike, big artworks for us. <laughs> you shouldn't text and drive. It's more dangerous than texting and drinking. <laughs> Might hit sending. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are funny, bro. Alright, so let's start building up these tires a little bit. I'm just going to lightly kind of just shade in with this a little bit. Then I'm gonna mix up a little bit of a darker tone and we'll, we'll kind of go back in with that. This gray really is only good for building up the chrome areas, getting them established and getting them ready. did you miss uh, um, I don't know I don't know where I don't know when you left and what <laughs> I, I remember you saying you're leaving but I don't know what's happened since then were you here the Gerald was here Gerald Mendez was in the chat he first he was on Facebook then he went over to YouTube just like everybody does and uh, yeah he's been in the chat just hanging out with everybody And he has, he said he has some surprises for the rendezvous, or he's working on some cool projects for the rendezvous, so now I'm super excited for that. See what he's going to show up with, it's going to be awesome. Like if I wasn't excited already, bro, like I'm, I'm, by the time I show up, I'm just going to show up asleep. I showed up with no energy, I was too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Vete preparando para celebrar con un tequilita, my friend. Sí, a, a ver, a ver qué tanto, <laughs> qué tanta preparación puedo hacer. Por muchísimas gracias, ahí nos vemos. Voy a estar listo, li a lo mejor listo que pueda. <laughs> saw that he was I mean he's still here apparently <laughs> amazing I just I didn't even know what to say I just, I'm gonna end this live stream and I'm just gonna be like a little girl did you see he was in my chat oh my god ah
Is this a gray or silver? This is a gray. So I mixed up a really, it's it's kind of like a medium gray. It looks it looks really bright onto these because of the green and stuff. But if you compare it to like the white right here, you can tell it's gray. Um, and all I'm doing is using the gray to really cut in the chrome. I'm leaving a little bit of an edge of the black. You can see that. And then I'm going to come back in. We'll put in a little bit of blue, a little bit of like orange tones um, and to make it really simulate the chrome, you know. Um, but right now I'm, I'm just kind of building up the base for the chrome so that it has somewhere to sit on. Um, but I use gray for this because that way when we lay the white, then the white will pop on the gray. It'll have somewhere to sit. It won't just be white on white. So it's a little extra step, you know. But on, because this particular piece has only so many bits of chrome, and we kind of need it. See lots of talent on here. Hope one day you can achieve even half of what you've seen. I mean, all it is is practice, right? You, you get in, you, you start practicing, and you start learning. Um, definitely, you're gonna you're gonna get good. None of us started at the top, right? So. Not even me. That's why I still get excited about seeing Gerald Mendes in the chat. And that's why I'm going out there and giving all these other artists recognition. It's still a learning experience, even till now. Like, I'm still... I was watching Scott McKay's... Uh... <laughs> What's up, Jimmy Crackhorn? Thank you for becoming part of the Skull Squad. Um, but I was watching Scott McKay, and, you know, still, after all this time... You know, watched him for like maybe five minutes and he, I was learning something. I was like, man, after all this time, still taking me to school. You know, so just never, never, ever forget to, to learn. You know, I'm I'm guilty of being stuck, like uh, doing the T-shirts for a long time, and just kind of thinking that 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 was where I wanted to be or like where I should be. And it's weird. It's weird that Corona happened and all this, and then I had all that time to really spend on my art and all this, and now I'm just kind of like hooked and want to just keep pushing myself and just kind of go back, go back to the drawing board on it and. Uh, relearn myself you know a bunch of stuff learn about the luminor loon you know just keep pushing the artwork forward and uh it's crazy how corona is basically the reason why why we're doing this if anybody if those have been watching the youtube channel since before corona know that i had planned to do the market this year, like do my regular shebang, but all I was gonna do is gonna bring the camera around and show you guys how to do the whole airbrush um, t-shirt kind of business. And I probably still will, you know, I'll just shoot it all in a weekend, like go out there, do the whole, you know, do a weekend at the market, but use it more for a video than anything else. Still a great way um, if you're an artist to get your name out there, um, to get known, to pick up business, and it's probably still something I'll end up doing from time to time. Is really just to get some promotion out there, some advertising, pick up some business, and then you know go home, you know maybe make a little bit of money airbrushing a few shirts or whatever, hand out business cards, do that whole shebang at the you know at any at any any market really because there's lots of markets all over so but uh yeah that that was the whole plan when we started <laughs> that you know 2020 we were going into 2020 and i was just waiting for it to start getting warm so i could start doing the markets and stuff and then uh yeah the whole covid started and then the markets you know the market here in Denver did open, and I tried it, and uh, 
you know, it just, it was not very uh, profitable. So even though there was vendors and stuff and you had to wear a mask or whatever, but customers were not out there, you know, so it was not very uh, profitable to be out there. So I gave that up and, you know, I, I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. I thought I was just going to, you know, my plan was to just, you know, well, this is it. I'm going to have to get, you know, a real regular job, like not just a part-time job or doing whatever, like, like I was just like, I'm going to have to settle, you know, and, and, uh, yeah, you know, I have to pay bills somehow. And I was scared of, uh, putting all my beans into YouTube and I didn't, right? I didn't put all my beans into YouTube. I still, what I did is like, I, it's like, you know, I'm going to keep doing the YouTube because Createx reached out. We got the opportunity with the memberships and then you guys all reached out and I felt all the love from the YouTube, so what I did was start and shift focus towards vehicles and, you know, doing all that to try to pay the bills and then made videos from it, right, in hopes of, you know, maybe making some extra cash off the videos and that's how we were able to keep all the bills running last year was from shifting focus from the t-shirts to, you know, the automotive side of things and switching it up and it was crazy I was super nervous super scared I didn't know if anything was ever gonna work um, luckily it all worked out in the end and now here we are a whole year later and you know I'm making choices that again I'm nervous about but not as nervous as I was when we did all that and yeah I had always done cars and stuff in the past obviously but I had never made a big push to just like that's what's gonna pay my bills um, so it was, it was real scary for sure. I hope this is paying off for you. You know, I'm not like, I'm not making a whole ton of money. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not like making all kinds of money or anything like that but what I am making is like uh, enough for me to pay bills and stuff uh, from the YouTube you know like I could keep the shop running just off of YouTube like I really don't have to take in jobs just off of you guys I could keep the YouTube running and keep making videos and do that but that would also I don't want to kill it, right? I don't want to, like, turn that thing I love into work, right? So I already airbrush for a living, and I want to keep doing that. I want to keep making the videos because those are fun, you know, and I'm just trying to mesh it all together, and um, that's kind of how I've been doing the, the YouTube. And uh, luckily, like now, like I said, you guys are pulling your own weight around here. You know, you guys, you guys are pulling through, and... Uh, yeah, I'm able to, like, now because of that, I could really just take it and pick and choose the jobs that I want. Maybe pick jobs just based on on what you guys want, might want to see and stuff like that. And uh, it also opens up my schedule, so if I ever get any kind of, like, big commercial job com coming at me, like, oh, we need you to go here or do something like that. Like, my schedule is open, you know. Where before, it was like I couldn't, you know, like, oh, no, I have a, a car in the in the garage i can't really just you know leave this car half finished while i go you know somewhere else and stuff so try to focus more on the bikes on the bike side of stuff because uh, it's smaller nicer and i'll be able to just you know produce it here all in-house um, which would be really nice and yeah I don't even know what to say. You guys have been awesome. It was it was awesome. It was just a crazy, weird, awesome year last year. And I don't even know how it all worked out. But I'm glad it did work out in the end. And yeah, Createx got involved. And you guys all kind of pulled together. And like, I don't even know what to say besides thank you. Like, you guys just, you guys literally changed my life over the past, the last year. 
Um, so you could always chase down bad guys like me. Yeah, you know, I I wouldn't put being a cop behind me. Like I just have to get the the qualifications, bro. If I here in town, I think you have to have like a 60 hours of college or something like that. And right now I'm at zero, bro. So, but yeah, definitely I I would I wouldn't mind being a cop. My original plan, like I've always said, was I was I was planning to join the Air Force, like my brother when my brother was in the Air Force. But then when my brother got out, you know, and I was still like barely in high school, and he pretty much sat me down and said like, look, don't do it. You have a talent. You you could do this. You know, and you end up wasting, you know, five, six years of your life um, when you could be out here painting and doing stuff and making stuff happen. Now, now, in retrospect, I don't know how right he was or how wrong he was. He probably was right, but nothing happened. <laughs> I think I would have been okay going and serving my four or five years or whatever, you know, getting out and then pursuing this, you know, because I already had the talent then, you know. But having have gone to the military and then coming out, I maybe would have come out with some money, maybe a job. But I think my brother's whole perspective was that they would have killed my dream, you know, like they would have turned me into a soldier and I would have had, like, you know, that whole dream would have been lost. I think that's what kind of scared him and made him not, not recommend it for me. So... But yeah, I, being a cop would be cool. Not gonna lie, like not not like not to make being a cop seem easy or nothing, you know, or to try to glamorize it anyway. Because I know you guys have it rough. But uh, yeah, I think it would be an interesting job. We're still painting, we're still getting it done, so can't really complain, you know? It all worked out in the end somehow. But you know, maybe I'll be like Shaq, you know, where I'll be like, I'll go pro airbrushing and, and, and you know, I'll be like a name brand airbrush artist, and then all of a sudden I'll be like, you know what, I want to be a sheriff too. Who's that other famous guy? Uh, he's kind of a, more of a joke, though. Uh, what's his name? The old action star guy. What's his name? He's a, he's a cop. I don't know if he's a sheriff, but he's a cop or something. In Arizona, I think it is. I don't know where he is. I don't even. No, I don't even know. It's the old action guy. Uh, it's not John Claude Van Damme. Uh, it's not. Uh, I don't remember. Ah, uh, forget it. <laughs> Seagal. Yeah, Steven Seagal. There he is. That guy. Imagine getting pulled over by Shaq and or Steven Seagal, bro. Like, that'd be funny. Just tell me you would not be in a giggle storm. Like, I would be in a giggle storm just laughing. Like, what the hell is going on? Where did I go wrong in my day today? <laughs> All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of black into my gray here. We're going to make it darker gray. <laughs> I think Ch Shaq would actually be scary. Like, as a cop, bro, there ain't nothing scary. Like, a nine-foot cop gets out to greet you, like... Quickly do these tires kind of in here. What's up, Hiramahi? Saludos, saludos.
<laughs> she said, Hola, Miss Jessica, and Jess doesn't speak a lick of Spanish. <laughs> Jess knows tequila and no. <laughs> este es el carro para ir al del pollo loco. Sí, este es el carro. Cuando vengas a visitar este carro te voy a llevar al pollo loco. Glad it's working out, Mike. You deserve it. Anyone who hasn't joined the Skull Swatch, join now. Only a few bucks a month, and the knowledge that Mike shares is worth that for sure. Thank you, man. Thank you, Scat Man. See, <laughs> más tequila, por favor. Yeah, that's what Jess knows right there. Just sure turns into a Mexican though when she has a few shots in her. Gerald Mendez is saying that he's going to have tequila for us, so. <laughs> he said I should prepare to have some tequila with him. <laughs> How well do you think that's going to go? <laughs> he said I'm down. <laughs> Uh, you're making us laugh here in Mississippi. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you know, in Mississippi, you guys got moonshine, though. That's a whole different devil. That's crazy stuff, man. Moonshine is, is wild. I had some, when I was in Houston, I had apple pie moonshine. First time I ever tried moonshine in my life, right? And I was so excited to come in that little freaking, those little like uh, canning jars and stuff. Super excited, bro. Oh, I'm gonna try moonshine for the first time. It's gonna be so good. So like, I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be so strong. That's what I thought. I was like, it's gonna be so strong. It's gonna kill me, blah, blah, blah. Right, so then I go try it. Motherfucker, it, it tasted like apple pie. Like, like directly like apple pie. Dangerous. Dangerous, because it was delicious. I could have drank that whole bottle in like one chug if I wanted to. I'd have, <laughs> the whole, I was, it's like Kool Aid. But they, they had already pre warned me, like, no, just take a sip, you know, da da. It's like okay, but for sure after that first <laughs> that first sip, I was like, I could drink all this. <laughs> and yeah, that's why I'm not allowed to drink, my guy. Like, no, -uh, I don't, I do not allow myself to 
drink like that. Like it literally tasted like I was just drinking an apple pie. It was so good. And then when the next time that guy came around, right, and he's, so we were working in the mall, and so people would come in and like sell us jerky, stuff like that, like they knew we liked. So, but the moonshine guy, when he came back in that second time, and he was talking about watermelon something or other, I said, no, no, you get out of here, you devil. <laughs> no way, man. Watermelon moonshine just sounds like I'm going to end up in jail like this this is not gonna be good watermelon moonshine and he's walking around with like a case of it in his backpack and I'm just like no my god no 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 no, no I can't I can't fuck with you I can't do it <laughs> we call it corn yeah yeah the corn <laughs> it sneaks up on you yep I mean, you made some freehand stencils. Maybe it's better if I keep painting fishing lures. You just gotta keep practicing, man. Moonshine, crazy talk. Yeah, yeah, dude. Moonshine is wild. If you've never ever tried moonshine in your life, you owe it to yourself just to try it. Like it can't be like no, like no. I was about to say no bootleg moonshine, but that's probably the best one. <laughs> no, you gotta have like some real moonshine. Like off the streets, you know what I'm saying? And this strong, like strong, strong. For sure. I sat there, I drank half of that little canning jar. No, not even half. Like, you know, like a little bit more than a quarter of it. Regular size, it's like a cup, you know, it's just a canning jar. Drank a quarter of it. We were in the mall. Drank a quarter of it, and then I, you know, put the lid back on it, and we're gonna go home for the day. Dude, by the time I got home, in like a, a maybe a five to seven minute truck ride home, oh my god, I was blasted. I was super blasted. I didn't like I was I was blasted, dude. I got I went inside and I was just like I'm hungry. Got to order fish and like everything was like ah like let's do it now like it's, yeah, moonshine is dangerous. That's just all I was saying. Moonshine is a danger. But if you've never had it, you owe it to yourself to try it at least once. Delicious stuff. Delicious. It'll make you look at alcohol in a different way. So everybody thinks of alcohol like, eh, it's gross. Like, no, not moonshine. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's why they outlawed it, man. Moonshine. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, that's the good stuff. Alright, just using this gray to put some little pre-highlights on like some of the window areas, stuff like that. You know, it's really dark gray, but putting that little dark gray over the black really creates those nice little edges on the truck. Right? And use it to start building up kind of the chrome on this mirror. Give this mirror some definition here. Yeah, honestly, like, yeah, when that when that moonshine guy came back around the second time, I did not buy moonshine, just because it, it freaking, it, it scared me. I was like, this is dangerous stuff, dude. It's too good. I ended up drinking that whole canning bottle, like, you know, in a matter of that day, basically, that whole afternoon. We, we ended up making a, what was it, crawfish? He made, like, a crawfish stew. It wasn't just crawfish, just, like, crawfish shrimp and other stuff in it. Um, so Sleek was making that, and he's sipping on his, man. And I was just like, this is too good, dude. I don't know how you do it. How do you resist just, like, not chugging it? Because I just wanted to be like... <laughs> or just get a straw. You know? <laughs> I'm going to have to try some now. Yeah, dude, if you ever get anybody that hits you up with moonshine, especially if it's flavored. Like, we got, you know, apple pie moonshine. We got cherry moonshine or something like that. Mm, try it like just just get yourself some try it and yeah 
I was excited when I first tried it because I already knew I was like moonshine is supposed to be kind of strong you know it's gonna you know it's supposed to be good so for sure when I tried it I was I was excited and I was not expecting it to be as good as it was like the taste the taste I was not expecting is what, you know you think of alcohol you think of that ah, like that strong especially when they tell you you know it's like oh it's more than a hundred proof like you know you're like what more than a hundred proof what are you talking about yeah no it's good good stuff that's one of those things I, I they should have been proud slap a made in America sticker and they should have started shipping that off instead of trying to outlaw it and ban it if it was me back in the days I would have drank some of that and I'd have been like well shoot this is better than any champagne I ever had let's <laughs> let's bo bottle this up and send it across the ocean I bet you they want some more right away I'll <laughs> make that money <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's really good. All right, I'll stop talking about moonshine. Yeah, I would have started shipping that across the ocean with donkeys or something, bro. I would have found a way. <laughs> hey, what happened to my skull perk? Pablo Jr. <laughs> You're on Facebook, that's what. <laughs> uh, right on, Simone. We'll see you later, man. You've never drank moonshine. Yeah, if you ever come, I'll make sure to try to get you some. Next time you speak with Steve Leahy, ask him about his moonshine story. Oh, no. Oh no, that has to be a good one. Back to tequila talk. Okay. So Jess, Jess loves tequila. And that's my tequila talk. <laughs> Jess loves tequila. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I think I'm done with this gray here. Am I done? Oh yeah, I'm going to load up some daylight blue. Dump out this gray. We're all done with that. We don't need any more of that. You like Cuervo blue? <laughs> you will not suffer from jet lag if I come to the USA. Yeah, that's perfect, bro. That's perfect. You can come on down. We'll have a good old time. I was like, what, what, what color was I using? And I just need a smidge. Just a smidge of this. With a little smidge of reducer. You like Cuervo blue? Yeah, I don't even know. The best tequila I've ever had in my life smoothest I, I don't know I should say the smoothest tequila I've ever had in my life so my stepdad um, his name is Juan right but his family in Mexico owns a, a ranch in Mexico and I guess they actually like uh, they don't like make tequila like they don't grow tequila like for everybody but they have tequila plants on their on their ranch uh, that they harvest every few years and they make their own homemade uh, like brew basically and uh, that when he made he brought that home one year 
after they went to go visit that stuff um, I forget what they called it is it agave agave straight from the plant like that they, they had he went to go visit and they his family was like fermenting the plant already so he had it like straight it still had like bits and pieces of the plant in it and everything oh my god it was so so freaking delicious Again, it's strange because it, it didn't have that, uh, well, it did have a little bit of that alcohol kick, like that strongness to it, but uh, not as, not like normal tequila does where it just overwhelms your, your palate. And yeah, when he brought that home, I, again, that's another thing where he, he had a gallon, bro, like one of those, you know, milk gallons. You know, he had one of those, just like, they had just ripped the label off of it and stuff. Because his family doesn't like, you know, again, they just brewing it for themselves or whatever. And that's just what they gave him to bring home was a milk gallon full of agave. You know, it was, oh my god, it was so delicious. Sometimes homemade is better. The passanella in Italian, huh? I'll have to look that up. The thing about, man, like getting Italian stuff here in the USA is so mezcal. That's what it is, mezcal. Yes. Oh, man, he had mezcal, dude. And it had, still had parts of the plant in it. In it. it was, oh, it was really good. Like just the taste of it was very different than normal tequila. And it was, it got you fucked up. Like, yeah, and ever since then, I've been waiting for him to bring some back. But I think he's brought some back, just not told nobody <laughs> <laughs> have have volume control yeah I don't know Mama Juan from the Dominican Republic oh Mama Yummy Mama Juan's huh this is what we're doing today in the stream we're talking about alcohol in the stream you guys are talking to the alcohol alcohol to the guy that doesn't drink okay so <laughs> I have drank in the past, but I don't drink very much now, so. Is my gay. See, see, see. Yeah, they grow. They grow uh, the tequila plants. Those my gays. My. See, my, and I always uh, grew up around them, too, because my grandpa had some on his land, too, when, when we were growing up. But I remember before he had a stroke, he actually. Uh, I think he harvested them for the, for the last time that I remember. I don't know if they're still there or not on his land. Or what is my aunt's land now? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, even my grandpa had some of my gays back in him. And we weren't allowed to go near them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was... That was the best tequila I've ever had. It's really good. It's looking great. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. The say no AA airbrush therapy is it? <laughs> ah, that's funny. The angle looks tight. So I'm just laying a little bit of orange over some of these chrome bits. And again, it's also that when we lay in the white, the white's really just going to pop out. Really nice.
so I'm just going to go with some black. I'm going to do some cutting in with the black, and then we'll finally come in with the white. Get that all done up. Workout time, huh? Yeah, I got to get back on the gym bike after I finish this, so I feel you, Blue. I feel you, Blue. We'll see you later, Blue. I also, I put those stencils in for in the mail for you today, so be expecting those. I think I said Saturday, so. You haven't figured out how to put it on live yet. Sure, you can even do it on your phone nowadays. It's easy. Nowadays. It's crazy. It's that's another thing that's crazy to think about is how far phones have come phones have actually come a really long way Tire tread in there, you see that? Can you guys even see that? Oh, you guys can't even see that. I'll show you guys when we're, when we're finished. Do appreciate it this live show it's still challenge to me every day thank you yeah you're welcome man that's the whole point of this blowing up my phone.
We're still alive. Went to Walmart, came back. Thought for sure everyone would be long gone. I'm almost, I'm almost, almost there. People are, people are starting to dwell in the loft because they, they're starting to see the finished product already, and that's all they care about. Those of us that have been kind of hanging out, talking about tequila and moonshine, we're still here. <laughs> And if you missed the tequila and moonshine conversation, it was a good one. Worth a replay later. we've knocked this one out of the park um, it just looks really nice and clean and uh, all the detail is kind of on point even these lowrider uh, this kind of lowrider mechanism in the back the hydraulics on the bed they're just kind of in there just nice and lightly that's probably still a little bit too bright right there it all it came out really good. Now we just got to put it in white and not mess it up. Let's do some white. Let's get the highlights in there. It made good progress while I was gone. You've tried moonshine, sweetest candy. Oh yeah, dude. Moonshine is killer. That's what we were talking about. Talk about that. That's probably why they outlawed it. It's it just too good. I was saying that if it was me and I would have found out that that's what moonshine tasted like back in the day. Instead of doing the prohibition, I would have been the guy like, Look, let's bottle this up and sell it. Then people across the world would freaking want some of this. That stuff is too good. It's dangerous good. Moonshine from the Appalachian Mountains. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> Yummy stuff. come back in with that white and you can see that chrome it just starts to freaking shine right away just putting the little white highlights on it right, let me show you on this on this front piece of bumper oh wait I, oh, I can't do it because I have the focus the focus I forget I didn't switch it back anyway that white is really making the chrome pop 
just, just so you know. Like I said, we started off fast and loose with it. We laid the green in really loose and it kind of started cutting in with the black. And now finally with the white, we're just kind of really sharply coming in here. And do with the white highlights. Hello, Juan. Juan is one of those people that doesn't say anything other than hello ever. On all my posts, on all my live streams, he'll just come in, say hello, and says nothing else ever. has to be perfect right here because otherwise it's gonna ruin it. <clears throat> Slow and steady breathing too. This is another thing I try to do while, whenever I'm doing really detailed stuff in like, you know, like that. Start thinking like a sniper. I'm just trying to control your breathing really slow. Slow it down. Where'd my straight edge go? I need my straight. There it is. Ah. You gotta get that sniper mentality when you're getting those. There you go, man. That looks good. Probably the most detailed part is this little tiny back wheel. Oh. Went off track there a little bit, gotta repair that. that repair. 
hair in there with a little bit of black. Perfect, like it never even happened. Perfect. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Okay, now let's do this final back chrome up here. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the camera. I'm just trying to stray. Try, trying to stay head on with the panel. So it's kind of hard. I don't know if I was or not. Am I? No, I think you can see me work so right. What's up, William Klein? There you go. He has his new minis, like a sticker right there, so... I don't know how well you could tell on the screen, but I put it up there. Ooh, blow my nose again. Oh, my nose is like running now. It's weird. I'm uh, doing good, Will. Doing good. We're almost finished up today with this panel, and then I get to unmask it and show you guys what it looks like with the whole thing removed. Masking. Last but not least, the front wheel. The front wheel needs some loving, and we're done. Apparently picked the, the right time to be done because food is ready, so.
shine. A little bit of the bling blingy, you know. Ah! Dang, that looks really good. So the only thing I'm going to come back and do on my own time here is uh, this license plate. Um, but I think everything else is uh, pretty much done. Let's get these uh, magnets off of here. Oh yeah, the other thing I'm going to need to do is uh, build in a drop shadow here on my own. There we go. Let's zoom you guys out a little bit. Cool. Now let me twist it. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Ah. Uh. Sometimes I paint stuff even I like. Now, I don't know why the camera is not showing green very good. But I assure you it's green. Tell me that, that that don't look beautiful. Tell me that don't look beautiful. Because I call you a liar. That's what I call you. <laughs> How you lie to my face like that. That is an awesome looking mini truck. Like I said, I'm going to come back in. I'll put in a little drop shadow here with some black candy. You know, just to make it look like the... You can still see the sparkle in, in behind there. Fill in this license plate. Maybe add some white highlights onto the lights here. Uh, maybe a little bit more highlights on the on the window too. But I think other than that, it's pretty much done though. And once you add that background onto it like that and everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks really nice. Really, really nice. You know, so. Yeah, the edges, uh, mainly this edge right here just needs to be cleaned up. But that will clean up with the drop shadow. This over here I could probably wipe off because it's just the overspray. Nothing too crazy. But yep. We must have the white really reduced, uh, yeah. So she made some kind of like casserole thing for dinner, so good. The curve on the graphic lines up the front tire, pretty good. What? Oh, this one? <laughs> it, it almost looks like it goes with the, yeah, that's for sure. Once I drop in that, that uh, edge, though, it's going to look good. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'm hungry. She brought me food. She tempted me. She teased me. So now I must go eat. And I must say goodbye to you guys. Thank you guys all for hanging out. If you're not, go, if you're not subscribed to Gerald Mendez, again, he was all up in the chat today. Make sure you go and you subscribe over to his channel. Um, and, yeah, uh, big shout-outs to him for joining us today for the live stream. And uh, everybody else, uh, all the Skull Squad members, thank you guys. You guys are the real ones. Jimmy Crackhorn joined the Skull Squad today, so it's a big shout outs to him for joining the Skull Squad during the live stream. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. We'll be back tomorrow on another panel. So this panel is uh, pretty much done. I'll come back in after I have my dinner and do the last little details and set it aside. It'll be ready for clear. We'll come back tomorrow on a whole nother different panel tomorrow. So. Hope you guys are ready. We'll see you guys then. Um, be about the same time, about one o'clock. Uh, I was late today, but that was because Violet's teacher like rescheduled her test and stuff. But we'll be back tomorrow, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Later, later.